live from Flushing, Michigan today. In fact, right here you can see the Flint River is a honey badger verse of the day. And it's Philippians 3, 20 through 21. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eager away to save from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to take everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies to be like his glorious body. And the good news today is that we have a citizenship, and it's not of this world. In fact, this world is pretty polluted. In fact, when you see the Flint River, you can remember all the controversy that surrounded this river a few years ago with the lead poisoning and people being poisoned by it. Acts 3.21 says he must remain in heaven till the time comes for him to restore everything as he promised long ago for his holy prophet. So we see Jesus, when he comes back, all this stuff he's going to restore. And right now is a time of the now and not yet side of faith. Right now is a time when there's suffering in the world. Right now there's a time where there's pollution. But when Jesus comes back and our citizenship is in heaven, we wait for a glorious place where there'll be no more tears, where there'll be no more sorrow, where God actually wipes away the tears from our eyes. Revelation 21, 4. And right now, during the now and not yet time, there's suffering. Right now, we don't see the glorious things that are sometimes promised in scriptures. Hebrews 2, 8 through 9 says, and he's put everything under him, referring to Jesus. And yet, everything is subject to him, referring to Jesus, sickness, diseases. And yet, at the present time, we do not see all things subject to him. In other words, when Jesus comes, there'll be no more sickness. When Jesus comes, there'll be no more sorrow. And our citizenship is in heaven, where all those tears are wiped away. They did a survey a while back and asked people, what do you think heaven is like? One of the most common answers is being able to fly like angels or playing harps for the more boring definition. And my daughter one time, she asked, is Grandpa Boswell going to be in school in heaven when she was entering kindergarten? Because she thought the coolest thing in the world was entering school. And all of us have different definitions of what heaven is like. The most important question is, Who's in heaven? The people in heaven, they're the people who have been transformed in the likeness of God. And in heaven, those people are going to be filled with joy. Our crowns in heaven that we lay at Jesus' feet, they're the people whose lives we impacted for the kingdom of God. And I'm going to end on this verse from 1 John 3, 2. Dear friends, we are children of God, but what we will be has not yet been made known. But when he appears we shall be like him. And that's the good news, is as citizens of the kingdom of God, we're going to be like Jesus when we enter the heavenly kingdom. And in the comments below, share some people who you can share the gospel with. Share some ways that you can be an ambassador for the kingdom of God.